All right, good morning guys. We got a super slow start to the day right now. Almost two o'clock, just showed up the Keystone. And there's one thing that I want to give you guys a tip on that literally changes the way that I strap in my snowboard and just gives me the most unfair advantage, I believe. But we gotta get warmed up first. Fellow POV action. We got geese in here, about to get some hot laps. Doing the new park stop. Then we're gonna tip you guys up. See what he's got. take off but before we bounce I want to give you guys a huge tip of something that has helped me so much in my snowboarding when I'm strapping in coming from the East Coast this is massive because it's always super icy and when you get off the lift there's two major things that you don't want to happen in snowboarding is you don't want to slip out hit your butt and be strapping in on the ground getting your pants all wet and you also never want to put your boot into your binding with snow under your boot and when there's a lot of snow and it's icy and you're on a steep incline all of that's difficult but i'm about to give you guys the most insanely crucial tip that i could ever give which might be super basic common sense for some of you and it also might change some of you guys lives forever as you can tell right now we're on a steep decline and it's not super icy because we're in the sun if you roll up and you want to strap in my tip is to come to a stop complete stop you take your edge and you chop out the ground a little bit now as you can see because of what i just did there's basically a flat level to the snow here it might be hard to tell but when you're standing up you can literally just stand and be flat where you are so the first tip is to take that heel edge and jam it into the ground as much as you can now that you're chilling and you have this flat surface area you can move your binding straps and your high back up push all the snow out of where your binding is this is the tip right here you do a couple sweeps back and forth in the middle of your board so there's no snow and then you do a one two and it knocks all the snow off the bottom of your boot after you've done the one two you can put your boot in and no snow will have gotten into your binding if snow does get into your binding or it's stuck in there you can give it the old slap swipe off again hit it and then put your foot back in your binding this may seem like such common sense, but honestly, when you have snow underneath your boot, it's the worst feeling ever. It hinders your riding like crazy. And it's so easy to roll up to your spot, cruise to a stop, catch out your little zone, maybe hit your tail, clear a little path, one, two, put your boot in your binding, and you strap in 
like a professional. As you can tell, I never had to sit down. I've got no snow or ice build up on my boot or on my binding. And another big tip is you can use your actual binding strap. And if you have ice that's frozen inside your binding, you can actually use your ladder and just carve it all out. The reason I even did this video today, guys, is because we started off slow this morning. We showed up here at like 1.30. The sun's already going down. It's pretty windy. It's pretty cold. It's flat light. It's icy. We are so grateful and stoked to be shredding in Colorado preseason, but the boys are ready to step it up to the next level. So we're cruising. We're out of here. Hope you guys got something out of that because that changed my life forever. Second of all, don't be making claims like that if we're not rolling. We're rolling. I put the most veggies in a pan you could ever fit. Arguably, they don't fit because oh, your boy can't stir them. They're, start, <laughs> they're starting to shrink. You're BMG. You're a big mushroom guy. I'm a big mushroom guy. We're starting to stir. What? This is good. I'm gonna. We're going with green curry. Is there carne de bajo? We're gonna go with a little green curry. We got a pound of shrimp for the boys. Oof. I know rust bucket might be a little disappointed because we're using this shrimp cook tail 2630s frozen. I mean, he seen the P.O. box. I'll be stuck. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, you didn't miss anything on Hill today. That's what Geese says. Oh, and you know what? Let's do this giveaway right now, bro. We got the discount code. For what? 15% off. Rumbleroller.com. No way. Promise you. I can tell you this man has been using the rumble roller every day since he came out of the womb. Since I came out of the womb, dude. What's the code? I'm gonna say this is not for the faint of heart. This is not for the weak neck. You can come over and get a normal foam roller like I have and just roll on that in the morning. Make sure the middle isn't all sagged. Get warmed up, yeah. But then if you get one of these, it's like turning right to expert mode. All right, here we go. 15% off. Rumbleroller.com promo code C Willax for those of you who don't want to wait for this giveaway. C Willax. Oh, the sniff. The sniff cam. And we're gonna give this thing <laughs> we're gonna give this thing away. That one. We're gonna give this away. We're gonna ship it out in the next two days. You guys gotta go to Rumble Roller on Instagram, give them a follow, leave a comment, tag a friend, and we're gonna pick somebody in the next 48 hours and we're gonna ship. I'll be in the contest. <laughs> this massive, beautiful, spiky rumble roller right to your cribby. Thank you. 